writing on a non-touch screen laptop. Let's go, baby. Ain't nothing like a good laptop video. Am I right or am I right? First off, guys, it can be tough to understand all the different ways to draw on a laptop without a touch screen. Boo-hoo. But guess what? We'll show you how to make this happen. Don't want to watch a long video. You can also see how to write or draw on a non-touch screen laptop by visiting the link below this video. Go get it, girl, fo show. Girl, fo show. Here's what we'll be covering. Some of these topics are only on our website, which is linked below. Oh, and don't you dare like, subscribe, or even comment. Because, well, we won't be answering them. <laughs> oh, and a ho 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 to you too. Haha, <laughs> don't listen to Santa. That's for Grumpy Gary's and for people that like to skip right to the point. Now, smash that big, meaty, like button, but only if you are a strong, independent, who don't need no video. So if you're looking to write or draw on a laptop that does not have a touchscreen, there's a few ways to make this happen. Um, this ranges from using a smart pad to write, a stylus pen, a graphics tablet. Um, you can scan written notes. You can use a web app. But most commonly, you'll be using a drawing tablet. If you're a teacher, usually a document camera um, will let you sort of like draw and write on a touch screen. I can go more on that later. But um, the most common way is to use a graphics tablet or a drawing tablet. And a drawing tablet is also known as a pen tablet. <laughs> I know this gets complex, but um, to make this very simple, there are different devices that you can connect to your laptop or your computer, and you can draw on those devices with a pen. It's like a pad. Um, there's examples of this in the link in the description. You can see more on this. Um, it's all laid out, very easy to, to navigate, to scroll through, and you'll see what these pads look like and how much they cost. And they range anywhere from $30 to $1,000, but you can get away with a very inexpensive one. Um, I list a few on the website in the link um, in the description. So let's get into a graphics tablet. Um, the most popular ones are Wacom or XP Pen. There's also a brand called Zeng Labs, and this lets you draw and write on a non touchscreen laptop so um, there are touchscreen laptops like the surface pro which run, runs windows um, you can also use an ipad with an apple pencil but a two-in-one laptop such as the lenovo yoga is pretty common if you're going to be drawing on it and um, if you're using a macbook you'll have to go with a drawing tablet or an ipad and you can connect an iPad to the MacBook using something called AstroPad, and that will let you write on your laptop. The most inexpensive way to do this is to just skip all of the devices and use a really inexpensive stylus pen. So if you have a laptop with a trackpad, you can use a pen and draw on that trackpad, but you only would really want to do that if you only occasionally annotate or mark up certain documents and you're not using that often so if it's more of like a one-time thing or once in a while thing you could go that route stylus pens range anywhere from like 10 bucks to 100 bucks um you can get a really cheap one for like 10 bucks um, you have to make sure it works with your trackpad and again you can see more on that in the link in the description i have a few other speakers so let's check them out now you have two options here one you can sit through the next eight minutes of video like Jabba the Hutt. Or two, in 0.5 seconds, you can instantly see the steps and solutions, which is laid out clearly on our website. This video will still be available on that page if you need it. Now, when I say the page has everything you need, it really does have everything you need. Go get it, girl, fo show. Girl, fo show. If not, our tech expert Roberto is stabbing Rojas Fernandez, the third is going to explain the rest. 
Hello, my name is Roberto Estaban Rojas Fernández Meja Grande Mojito de Tir. And let me cover everything you need to know. Comment your thoughts about how you like Roberto Esteban Rojas Fernández Meja Grand Mongito the Third. Hit the like button if you like my pointless or and ya ves. Hit the like button if you like my pointless orange vest better. Also, if you like a big stack of a Frenchy toast as much as I like Frenchy toast, you can hit subscribe instead. He 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 he. I don't know if you know this, but this is my favorite grace chair. Comment on this video and tell me which chair you like the best. My chair. Bab's chair. Or this chair. Bye bye my cool friends. Don't forget. More in-depth information on this is also available. In 0.5 seconds you can instantly see the steps and solutions, which is laid out clearly on our website. Please subscribe to the channel my friends. It will help you every day.